chug, 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 chug. All right, welcome in to the Dumb Marks edition of Drink of the Week. We realized we weren't recording when we initially did this, so we're going to roll this guy. How to review this damn beer again? <laughs> Donald, <laughs> what do we have on deck for us today? We have Berry Berry Sneaky Fruited Sour Ale with Lactose. And I'm not going to read all of the other ingredients and that stuff in it, but it's a 7.2 alcohol by volume. It is from uh, Hamburg Brewing Company. Get your sour, get your sour mm-hmm. on. We'll see what this does. I like the I like the percentage on this, so nope. Nope. This you is like a warhead. This, this is like a warhead and a lemon. And it just never turns into anything sweet like Sour Patch Kids. So this is a hard pass for me. I can't I can't do sours. I can't. I don't hate it. I had three of these before, three three sours before. This one is the only one that I could see myself drinking. Not by much, but I can see it. Steve, you hit it just with the warhead. That's exactly what this tastes like. You know, it just coats the tongue like that warhead does, just focuses on that sour only. And for those of you that are younger than us, warheads were sour candies. I'm not sure if they're still out and about right now, but back yeah, in the day, uh, black cherry warhead was like... So good. Those weren't even fun, man. <laughs> I, I, like, I like that stuff. And I like sour stuff, too, but I like sour stuff that turns sweet later, mm-hmm. like the Sour Patch Kid. And that's what I always wait for when I'm drinking a sour beer. It's sour versus sweet at. Mm-hmm. But it never come. No sweetness. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I go one. I go one and a half on that. Uh, if I'm ranking beers least favorite to favorite, sours are number one. IPAs are number two. Mm-hmm. I go two point five with this. Manageable. I'll go too. I, I can drink it, but it's something I wouldn't drink before. This is the first time on this show reviewing a beer that I've given a bitter beer face. <laughs> That's a bitter beer. <laughs> is, it, is it a bitter beer face or just too much sour? It's just a sour beer face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go two five as well, Donald. It's the lemon pop. It's not something well, I would yeah, drink again. Well just, I might as well put three lemons in my mouth. Like this is not enjoyable. Yeah. Like whoever drinks sours for fun, you need to go see a psychologist. <laughs> yeah, I don't see how people could drink it all the time. No. And if there's a good sour out there that you really think is a good sour, yeah, please let us know. Use, let us know in the comments because I have yet to find a sour that I actually enjoy. So, the one, the last one we tried all together, I did really quite enjoy. It. Oh, that uh, Gasta Goose or something, no. the grapefruit. Oh, no. No, this is so, better than that. At least that gives you a reason. Grapefruit gives you a reason. This doesn't even give you a reason. This grapefruit is nasty. It says it berry, berry. There's no berry, berry in this. this <laughs> the grapefruit is not a good reason. It tastes, the, the very berry tastes like juice, at least. So. No. <laughs> it's gonna be a thumbs down for me, or as Randy Jackson from American Idol said, that's gonna be a no for me, dog. Um, not doing it. So I'm not even cheers to you guys this week. Just try it if you want to. If not, whatever. Throw a challenge out there. Give me a sour that I'll actually enjoy. And if and if and if it is a sour that I'll actually enjoy, we'll send you a free shirt. How about that?